now i will tell you how to use the feature of filter we want to go to the filter options by two ways either go to the view toolbar expand all and here you can see filter by either click on this one or either you can choose this toolbar filter by filter window has been opened here you can see that right now all activities are displayed in the project so uh, if you can see from here when you open some project you have to see that uh, at the start you have to see that is there any filter applied or not so if there is any filter applied you can check from this option so you have to be careful and you should select all activities when you are going to see any schedule so now i will tell you how to use the different features of uh, uh, filter suppose we want to see the critical activities i will simply click critical it is by default you can see that uh, there are some filters has been created so i will apply okay and you can see you can see the critical activities shown here but you can see that uh, this uh, uh, these are some ws which are showing um, blank so you can check this uh, you, if you want to disappear or hide this uh, these uh, ws you can check this option hide if empty apply and click ok so there are five critical activities that are showing in this project uh, previously there were 11 activities that were showing critical but after applying the constraint the um, you know, criteria path has been changed so you can also save uh, you can uh, see that which filter has been applied here you can see here it is showing that filter all critical it means a critical filter has been applied here so if you want to save this layout as so uh, we will save as training layout critical activities the importance of using this feature is that you can uh, save the layout and uh, you don't need to do all uh, changes again and again so simply you will select the or import the layout and it all the changes will be showing here in the layout so right now we have uh, applied the filter of critical now we will go, go to the filter option again and i will tell you how to make a new filter so i will click on this new button here i am going to show you the three month look ahead plan so i will write the name here uh, give the title three month look ahead plan now i will go to this window here i will give the parameter i will give the parameter that start of the activities is within the range of data date here you can see different options project start project finish data date current date current week current month it's up to you you can also customize uh, the date but here i am going dd and i i can also write simply here dd it means that it is data date so here in the high value i will tell you how i will write from myself dd plus 3m m means for month if i will here 3w it is for the week if i uh, put here d it means 3 days so i am going here to write 3m it means that we are going you can see that data date is the date on which the project is scheduled so our uh, data date and project start date is same so we are going to see the activities within the three months frame so i am giving here the range from data date to three months so i will uh, 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 press ok apply and you can see here the three months activities are showing here so you can also see the filter name from here in this way you can customize the layout another layout i want to tell you how to create that if you want to see the zone area of main production hall then i will tell you how to define that uh, 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 filter as well so i'm going to create a new layout i will write here main production hall i want just want to see the activities of main production hall so i know that main production hall is defined in zone area so simply i will select here 
in the parameter zone area is equals to i will give here the value of that zone area i am going to see the activities of main production hall simply i will select the mph i will um, click okay apply okay so here you can see that the activities of the main production hall is showing here the main production hall activities are defined in architecture civil equipment so in this way you can customize the filter filter according to your requirement here you have noticed one thing that two filters are applied here at the moment together so i applied intentionally so that you can i can tell you that how to select one of the filter previously i created a three month look ahead plan and now i have created another layout for the, the main production hall so in this uh, uh, current window you can see that the three month activities of uh, uh, main production hall has been defined here so i am going to select only one layout apply now you can see that all the activities existing in the zone area of main production hall is being displayed here so now i will go to the filter option again and select all activities and here it will show you the all activities as before and no filter is applied here you can see from here